All right, Shane, final game I wanted to ask you about. I know we got to run here, but uh, Clemson at South Carolina, Shane. I, Tigers mm. are the, obviously the favorite given, uh, you know, all their five stars and all this, and there's the greatest team the ACC's ever assembled. I, I think they're like seven, seven and four on the year, but uh, Clemson's won six in a row. And the main thing I wanted to ask you, Shane, because I'm starting to see coach of the year for Shane Beamer. I'm not buying that hype just yet, but – if he turns around and he manages to snap this six-game winning streak and gets the Gamecocks on a, you know, three of the last four, winning three of the last four, two in a row, heading into the bowl game, I think we got to put mm-hmm. him in up to consideration for Coach of the Year. And we, you know, you've been saying it for months. I think this may be uh, the beginning of the end of that Clemson program with with them Gamecocks rising. Yeah. Now, I don't necessarily say it, you know, it all comes down to this game, but this kind of expedites all that in my mind. It does. It's it's on every highlight reel moving forward, Mike. It's all people are talking about all summer. Dabo's lost it. Don't be surprised if some of his staff doesn't jump ship. That's just the next step to the demise of the Clemson Tigers. The first step is beating them. And I think that South Carolina has an excellent opportunity to do so. You got to think, man, these boys have been told for the last three, four years that they can't beat teams like Florida. They can't beat teams like Auburn. Well, guess what, Mike? They did. And now they can go out and they can beat that Clemson Tigers because they're they're human. They've lost a lot of games this year. They're playing terrible. And we have an opportunity to do so. So I think Clemson on a downward year, probably, you know, kind of work, kind of similar to what we're talking about, some of these letdown teams. Yep. I think Clemson's in a letdown field. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're not playing for a playoff. They're not playing for any of that. They're playing for next year. South Carolina has an opportunity to tee this thing up and get a victory. So that's what South Carolina needs to do. You, hey, I'll tell you, Mike, if they come out and they beat Clemson, I, I would make a case for Beamer being coach of the year. But until then, I mean, he's in a pool of many. Yeah, and we'll give him all the credit in the world, but who is it that you gave credit to last week, Shane, and and who deserves a lion's share of the credit of what's going down there in the Columbia is these fans. These fans continue to show mm-hmm. up, continue to support the team. I think they're trending towards a sellout here, which is incredible. You know, the, the, usually it's how many Clemson fans are going to show up in this game, right. but they're turning the tide. And you you think back to Auburn, you think back to Florida. I mean, these fans have been a difference in the ball game, and I hope they are this weekend too. We snap this streak and and send Dabo oh, yeah. and company back home <laughs> crying. You know what? Absolutely, I love. It. I can't wait to see him crying on the sideline, Mike. Just about every <laughs> penalty that didn't go his way. You know, <laughs> come on, baby. <laughs> well, buddy, that's going to do it for this episode of the show. I do appreciate you hopping on. As always, you got anything else before we hop off the line? Uh, yeah, real quick, we're we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do for Thanksgiving. I think we're going to get together a little bit tomorrow, right, and, and talk a little bit about this egg bowl. Yeah, so uh, we'll have that coming out, and we'll make our picks for the weekend and, and put that out. We'll probably have that out. That'll probably drop Thursday, so Thanksgiving. Okay. And, right. You know, people – and it, maybe on their trips back for Friday, if you if you can't listen on Thursday, whenever it is you listen to the pod on, on this holiday week here. Uh, but we got you covered at least by Thursday morning, Friday, Saturday, whenever you mm-hmm. listen, the uh, the weekend picks pod will be up there for you. That's right, man. Be like it. You know, that last thing I do, Mike, before I go do any, like when my plate's about empty, I always get one of them rolls, man, and I just soak it all up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just clean that bad boy, and that's what I'm going to do this week. This is apex football, man. This is rivalries. This is hated teams. This is – we're going to have fights <laughs> at halftime. We're going to have fights on the sideline. We're going to walk away from this thing yelling at each other and probably not talking to the opposing fan base for another year that's what this weekend's all about plus family plus thanksgiving i mean golly mike soak it all up be be like that yeast roll and soak it all in because that's what i'm gonna do man so i'm looking forward to it and looking forward to any news that comes out man i love i don't get me wrong the rumor mills my my cup of tea mike i'm always texting mike you guys don't know but every morning i'm texting mike Hey, who's coming down there at LSU? Have you heard anything about Florida? I mean, I'm fanboy, man. I want to figure out where these guys are going. Yeah, who knows? By uh, by the time we hook up next, 
we may have a coach down there at Florida and LSU, and <laughs> who, we may have some new openings all across the SEC. So that's it. This is just that time of the year. You know what? Absolutely, man. Well, that's all I got, brother. All right. Well, I appreciate you. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you for checking us out and hanging out. And if you made it this far, don't forget, give us that five-star written review. But I do appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. See you guys. Go Vols.